Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you guys are doing well. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe. And uh, if you wanna get a personal reading or need anything, everything is in the link in the description box below, okay? So definitely go check that out. So we're gonna take a look at your messages for, um, I'm gonna take a look at this person, your person's current feelings towards you, okay? So let's let's see, what's going on here? Okay, and happy birthday to anyone that has a birthday today. Please do leave a comment if it's your birthday or, or comment in the chat. Okay, healthy choices, the snake, and a heart with a key. All right, Virgo. So definitely an energy of um, self-love, self-care, someone being happier very conflicting energies the snake competition enemy oh malicious looking over the shoulder of the other woman what the heck heart with a key welcoming love meeting the one opening your heart getting to okay oh no 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 i get it yeah okay so basically virgo your message for you going in through to september is be careful of snakes virgo make sure that when you meet someone, because you are going to meet someone who you may feel like is the one, welcoming love, getting together with someone where it feels perfect, be careful of this snake energy. And it doesn't mean the person you're going to meet is a snake. They could just be born in the year of this snake, but it doesn't mean that this person shows up as a snake. It's just about you. Um, I want to say vetting, making sure that the people or the or people that you meet or anyone that you meet that shows interest aligns with your moral values, your integrity. Um, this is about you making healthy choices going forward. Okay, that's the that's the message. That's the message I'm picking up. All right, let's get into this. Because I feel like, you know, some of you are being a bit more careful nowadays when selecting mates or opening yourself up to particular people, kind of doing this whole, okay, well, just being a bit more cautious, you know, and Virgo, you got to be in this day and age because things, times, life is different. Times have changed and there's a lot of snakes online. Um, not every one of them, but you got to be a lot more careful anymore. Okay. So let me just try and see what your love messages are here. And that's just my personal opinion. I don't know that anyone that's going to disagree with me, but it's fine. You can. Let's see. Okay. So express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. That's good. Okay. Flirt. Okay. That's a positive. And... So, yeah, um, you've got free yourself and honeymoon. So I don't feel like, I don't feel like you're, you're going into um, meeting people with like this very jaded, bitter kind of energy. I just feel like the message is to just kind of don't rush into things. Get to know somebody first. Um, definitely free yourself from any kind of past trauma take things slow with anyone you meet. You do have honeymoon, so there may be some type of getting together with someone um, or enjoying the bliss of holiday time. I know starting in September, we do have Labor Day, so there might be like a Labor Day party you go to or a barbecue over the weekend or something along those lines um, or vice versa. Maybe you're having one. So a lot of loving expressions and flirting and just, you know, freeing yourself and enjoying your life you know you don't have to walk around with your sword up all the time but i do feel like this is mostly a message for you okay now let's take a look and see the, the feelings of someone their current feelings someone that you have a connection with what their feelings are because i know yesterday you didn't get much in the way of feelings all right temperance You know what? I I am going to actually 
non-label this reading. I'm going to take it back. If somebody's feelings show up, I'm going to point it out, but I feel like that's dictating too much of this reading, and I, I kind of feel like I need to bring something to you, whatever the strongest message is here. So I do see someone who is cutting, it could be a Sagittarius, who is kind of pushing other people away. Um, I do see someone that may have may have been connecting with others, and it looks like, it does feel like a Sag, but it looks like this person is wanting to, um, I'm hearing like, I'm going to drop all these people, uh, I'm going to cut off these lovers or these dating options, um, I'm not, gonna, I'm not talking to those people anymore, to try to bring balance and something into a romantic connection with you, okay? So... I feel like this person is going to is going to be breaking some hearts um, if they're in a relationship or they're dating other people. I see someone here is kind of doing this. You know what? It breaking up with some other people only because or another person because of the three of swords. This this person here is holding three swords, which definitely means breakup, separation, um, and ending to an argument, and getting back. The whole purpose is temperance to kind of like focus more on a beautiful two of cups connection like it's there's somebody here that feels there's a divine connection between you and them so let me see what else is going on okay wow yeah balance and balance definitely decision weighing options and i feel like somebody in september is making a decision to end a relationship with another person or other people um Doing it, doing it definitely out of a sense of peace and harmony. There's some kind of connection that maybe you have with this person or you know them or you're, you're currently dating or in a relationship with them. There's the lovers and the wheel of fortune. So there's definitely change happening on the love front. Somebody views you as their other half for sure. It could be a Gemini, Taurus, picking up Leo, Aquarius, possibly Scorpio. But it looks like somebody here is definitely wanting to come into union, making this decision that you are th the one that they want to be with. Like you are their person. If I didn't call out their sign, it doesn't mean it's not the person for you here, okay? Um, they just, I get a sense that someone here feels, um, Oh, what's that weird? Uh, not weird. What's that word? Um, oh, it, sometimes spirit gives me something and it's on the tip of my, but I can't get it out. It's some type of compatibility. Um, you guys are a match. Even the lovers can feel like a very healthy twin connection. This is like familiarity, recognizing some, someone recognizing themselves in another person. So I also feel like this person is getting rid of people or a person in their life they feel was a snake or was deceptive. And they're making healthy choices going forward. So it looks like you are a healthy choice for them. I don't see you choosing anything, so we'll get to you in a minute, but there's definitely, I feel like somebody is just seeking peace, peace of mind. It could be you and, and both of you, but with temperance here, yeah, it, it just feels like balancing and, and balancing things out especially with these two cups. You see this? So this looks like a, a new love start happening here. Okay, let's see. Does Virgo know this person? For some of you, this could be someone that you have had a struggle with in the past. Okay, or currently struggling, coming to the end of that struggle. Let me see. Some of you could actually be married to this person or in a long-term relationship and you're freeing yourself from this. Something begins to shift and change. For others, this is ending a past relationship and going off freeing yourself like we had there, taking your power back. Um, there's a shift and a change within you, Virgo. So this is taking your power back in a relationship or moving on to something new. 
okay? So I, I feel like um, you could be getting out of some type of relationship that you love someone very much, but it was a hell of a struggle, definitely. Maybe 10 years, 10 and 10, freeing yourself from the struggle in the relationship too. So for some of you, this is definitely someone coming in who where you and this person are putting the past behind you and having something new is happening here. So there's uh, there's flirtation. Someone's flirting with you. This person is flirting with you. We do have Aquarius. This person is flirting with you during in September. So how are they flirting with Virgo? Let me see. Could be at a party or some kind of um, holiday thing. Okay. How is this person flirting with Virgo? Like by what way? Hmm. All right, for some of you, all right, they're just telling me, um, if you play any kind of sport or they play any kind of, oh, okay, no, no, no. All right, so, okay, now that's clear. Um, showing off. This person shows off. That's their way of flirting. <laughs> so if you were around someone, maybe at the start of the month or going into September and you see someone kind of showing off, you know, maybe flexing the guns or just kind of pulling on their hair, just some kind of body language type stuff. That's where I feel like the flirtation is going to happen. Um, for some of you, this will be at your work or you may see this person kind of showing off directly in front of you on like online, like they're doing stuff on purpose. Okay, that's mature. <laughs> They're trying to get noticed, right? So they're kind of, okay, hold on. They're giving me another message. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, for some of you, this is, has to do with competition. Showing off a little bit online, but also competing for your attention. So either they find out that you have a past person or they, um, think that you have other options other interests yeah i see this person definitely competing for your attention by flirting and showing off and trying to get your attention and you know what's funny virgo i feel like i mean this reading is so um shallow it's not even funny compared to yesterday it was so so deep but i feel like <laughs> it's so funny Virgo, you're, you're sitting here at the King of Pentacles, okay? I did say Sag, so I do want to keep a fire sign or an earth sign. Um, but I do feel like they will kind of show off or do something to try to get your attention in September. And then look to see if you noticed. And so if you see it online, I feel like Virgo, your energy is just going to be kind of like, yeah, I see you. So, or if they do it in person, it's still the same. They'll be looking to see your reaction. And I just feel like you're a little stoic, um, not to be mean or anything, but the thing people don't understand about Virgos is Virgos kind of are like, yeah. And like, is this what you're coming with? I don't know if this person has like some kind of what's the word man i'm like i don't know what the heck who i'm talking to today the, the spirit wise but i feel like this person has some kind of aesthetic thing that seems to be more prominent for them because i feel like a lot of virgos are like give me a deep intellectual topic or show me something that i haven't seen before you know um if you're gonna be flexing like been there done that i kind of feel virgo like your energy is just like, I'm going to need a little more. I'm going to need to see your resume. I'm going to need to see, like, have you read any books lately? Like, what are you into? Like, do you have a brain? <laughs> not, not to say that Virgo doesn't like the physical appearance of a person and the attraction and all, but 
I feel like for most Virgos, it has to go a little bit deeper than that. Like there's got to be some substance behind your deadbolt brain, you know, <laughs> or your physical appearance. Like you've got to have something a little bit more, you know, than just looking good. So I know that might sound harsh, but that's how Virgos are because Virgos are very, they can be very intellectual and very curious and they love to learn and they love to help people. So a lot of Virgos are just bookworms, you know or have that in them. So yeah, I, I definitely get a sense that you will, you know, you come across this person or this somebody you already know, and it's kind of like, is this person? Yeah, okay, maybe they look healthy, but like, are they a snake or a snake charmer? Yeah, Virgo, you question, you, I see you kind of doubting a little bit. It, are you just looking and it's like, uh, okay, well, you know, if you think like your your physical stuff is going to be the only thing that I need, like if you don't have a brain and I can't talk to you and we can't sit and engage and form a, a good, a deeper bond than the physical, then I don't know, Virgo, I just kind of feel like you're not being harsh and judgmental here. You're just saying, yeah, oh, an avocado, thanks. <laughs> You know, kind of your energy. That's like my favorite little kid. Because that's my mantra all the time. Like, ah, oh, another avocado. Like, you're just out here. Like, uh, there's nothing but avocados out there, Virgo. Like, and when you open them up, they're all nuts. Right? So, Virgo, you're being a little, yeah, see, I feel like you're being a little more like, oh, yeah, here we go. Another one bites the dust. And another one gone. And another one gone. It's kind of like... Yeah, another love offer. Same old thing. Virgos, Virgos are just, they would rather be alone than waste time with idiots. That's just how they are. You know, um, they like their friends and they like to socialize. Not all, some. It's half and half. It depends where your placements are. But the true Virgo is like, I'd rather just stay home and get a bath and read a really good book than spend time with adult. And... I don't know, Virgo, you're, you're a bit resistant to, um, you're resistant to snakes, that's for sure. Um, you don't mind the flirtation and someone that wants to express their love, but you really can't have a relationship with a potato or a donut, you know? At least I see that energy with you here. So this really I mean as far as somebody's feelings here I do like I will say that you might actually just kind of laugh at this person's antics but you I see you kind of come into this thing where you're like I don't know if you feel like maybe you're just too good not in a negative way. It's not like, oh, I'm too good for anybody. Because that'll just alienate you and leave, your, leave you alone. Um, but I feel like you come to this place in September where you know who you are. As far as like, you know what you want and you're okay with what you want and what you need. And you don't really need anything excess that isn't going to, you know, get you from point A to point B. You know what I mean? Jelly bean? So... I do see you, I do see you being open and kind to this particular person. And I, I do see that you'll give them a little bit of your time. But you, um, why am I hearing um, Virgos don't like beggars? Where's that coming from? Virgo doesn't want someone to beg. It makes Virgo feel uncomfortable. Okay, that's an interesting, strange message. For some of you, there is a reconciliation. I have to say that. Like, it's showing up here, and i got to bring it up with judgment. And I do see someone trying to reach out, but I see some breadcrumbing as well. And I don't know if that's... I don't feel like this is that person. I kind of... It could be, but I, I just see you being like... Putting someone on the back burner. I don't see you being really stimulated to connect with someone who is superficial. That's really the word. I feel like a superficial person. 
I mean, I feel like there's this thing that you might tell yourself is, well, yeah, of course they're interested. Of course they're reaching out. Of course they are in, you know, like nothing wrong with me, of course. And you might have a couple of suitors. Um, but I see you kind of breadcrumbing in return. You know what I mean? Like you're not really like meet one person and then you latch on to them. And then that's it. I see you spreading yourself a little thin and dating a few other people as well if the options or at least having those options and considering them but at the end of the day this one particular person is going to be flexing for you in one way or another in september and why because of the lovers because they feel that there's some kind of a match uh, or they will at least feel that going forward Yeah, there you go. I will tell you this too, Virgo. I'm seeing a very strong friendship form. Or you already have a friendship with this person. Not romantic. Maybe potential for romantic. I don't know, Virgo. I just see, you, like I said from the very beginning, I feel like you're vetting or being cautious. You're not, I don't see you being jaded or bitter. I just see you realizing that your time is valuable and that you really don't want to waste your time with anyone so this person coming in are they going to be a time waster let's take a look and i'm picking up strong sag vibe oh all right for some strong sag vibes but they could have it in their chart somewhere could be any sign knight of pentacles this is not someone who i feel is coming in uh for anything other than a long-term investment with you okay right when i asked that's what you got and the knight of pentacles is the best card as far as the knights go for a long-term relationship and investment okay i know what this is going to be i knew it for some of you this is the king of cups all right now let me just say if this this possibly could be the next episode of yesterday's reading where the person that you connected with yesterday might have been on the spectrum or there were some issues um there is a little bit of a continuation for some of you where i feel like this person is you know going to try to do better okay but that's not for all of you for some of you you've got quite a few options showing up here you have a fire sign you have a water sign and you have an earth sign okay and if you don't know what those are aries leo sagittarius virgo taurus capricorn cancer scorpio pisces okay so i i'm gonna i'm oh my gosh i'm gonna say that um i am gonna say that there seems to be a water sign that is very serious about you I do have to put that out there. And I do see some competition between a fire sign and an earth sign. So I don't know how that's playing about, if they know each other or if there's some type of connection with them. I really feel like, Virgo, you freeing yourself, expressing yourself, making healthier choices, stepping on snakes, being a bit flirtatious, having fun, enjoying your life is going to attract a lot of different suitors for you. Um, there is a water sign who's very serious, and I do feel like there's Sagittarius who uh, thinks that you are their person, okay? But like I said... you um aren't really taking anybody seriously unless they really show up with you know some kind of something more than a bunch of i love yous and something more than like those things they have to be there or something more than some kind of aesthetic physical thing you know you're definitely interested in something um like long term something solid a solid offer and you are going to get it you're going to get quite a different bunch of offers here because you do have flirt so i feel like there's there's a lot of opportunities flirtations coming in for you in september but i feel like i pretty much like all the signs it's crazy <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me 
a lot of different suitors is what I feel like the energy is. So it, it may be the person that we were connecting with yesterday, and it could be um, someone um, that you currently know, right? Whether they're a friend or someone that you dated before um, or, and or somebody new. Like it's, They're all over the place with this reading. I just want to get a couple of extra messages here and see what else you need to know. Okay. Some of you, one of these people comes from a soul family group, okay? Or is part of your family. Or you have family with them. And for some of you, one of these people is a work colleague, okay? You have a great connection with both of them, soulmate, and the other person is long distance so what is this what are, what are we hearing here you know the only sign that's missing is the air sign so the air sign might be somebody you're done with but i do feel like as this reading goes on there are three different options showing up here in uh september vying for your attention and your affections connect one connected to your family one connected to your work and one who is long distance or at a distance to you, work or college, work or school, that kind of thing, your profession or in your industry. So it looks like you've got, <laughs> you've got a couple of options. You have new love, an unknown person. You have a couple of options going on here. Yeah, there you go with the dating queen. I think we had dating queen the other day. You know, Virgo, a lot of fun times to be had in September. <laughs> You have choices. I don't see you stressing, though. I just kind of like, it's almost like you're, you sit at your desk, you know, Virgo, and you're just kind of like, all right, let me see the resume. You're just kind of like filing the paperwork, <laughs> sorting it out to see who's, you know, you, who's the better fit. Virgo, I just don't see you being in any kind of a rush. It's like, like I said, you, you don't seem to really care because you can do, like, you're quite happy to do you. It seems like you're satisfied with that. That's enough. Um... I like that energy because it shows independence and it shows self-respect. It shows you're making healthy choices for yourself. It shows you have um, unconditional love for yourself. You enjoy your me time. Nothing heavy, nothing deep. It just looks like, you know, I know this isn't going to resonate for everyone, but for some of you, it looks like you, you, you're you going to have a few suitors, a few options, and you're definitely not going to be a pick Misha or any kind of like a simp you're you're definitely gonna choose healthy you know you're 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 not you're not interested in processed goods Virgo you want the organic you, you know you're in the produce section these days shopping for healthy relationships okay you've got year of the pig this is gonna be you your sign year of the horse Year of the rooster. Oh, double rooster. Okay, year of the rat. Year of the ox. Year of the dog. There's the snake. So, like I said, you could be connecting with someone who's born in the year of the snake or you're born in the year of the snake. Either one of those, okay? Virgo, I, you know what? <laughs> it's crazy how these messages turn you know and i was gonna do like their current feelings for you um i'll tell you this if you have someone in your heart in your in your you know in on your mind if someone in your heart that you want to know how this how they feel about you or what their truth is their emotional truth about you i will give that to you all right they're they're definitely missing you at this time you're like um you're like a shadow on the wall. They can still they can still feel your presence. Hold on, let's see. I look for you everywhere. It's 
person is very attracted to you, your person that you can still feel or that they can still feel you. You know, I just heard um, the people they meet, they look for you in them. Know that I crossed the line with you. So there's an element of this person feels sad. They, they feel regretful or remorseful. They're still waiting for you. Every detail of the day is still in their mind. It's like you're still there for them. They feel you were the best thing in their life, Virgo. But the timing just wasn't right. That's what they're telling themselves. That, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's definitely what they're telling themselves. It was a timing thing. I mean, you're just... I don't feel like this person's like crazy obsessive or anything. I just feel like they... Sometimes, it, you know, I stay awake thinking about you like you you definitely you cross their mind still okay if you're thinking about them you might feel each other's energy i do feel like um this person hasn't forgotten you and they do think about you um and they do miss you the absence there might have been a lack of availability or emotional availability in that relationship that you were in yeah they definitely feel sad they feel regret a bit of remorse even though so i kind of feel like the way they're they're dealing with their regret and their remorse is telling themselves that it just wasn't meant to be um but they do have true love and they do feel um like they're at fault for something it's definitely a past life love connection with that person in the past but you know Every relationship has a lesson in it somewhere. But if you feel like you're having a hard time letting go, I hope the reassurance is that this person does love you. To whatever, you know, I always like to say love's on a spectrum. <laughs> go from care to deep love. Um, so somewhere on there that this person definitely does, like, they do love you. Um, I don't know, Virgo, it looks to me like you're... You're just making healthier choices for yourself. That that feels like the strongest message. I don't know exactly what happened in a past thing, but whatever the situation was that occurred, uh, obviously, if you're heading towards something new, it, the past thing wasn't for you. All right, let's see what else is going on here. Oh, okay. So you've got hope. So this is the star. This is renewing and uh, having renewal and healing within your soul. There's also um, some inner clarity you're going to be receiving in September about your path forward. And getting your faith and your hope back when it comes to life, love. You also have financial decision you're going to be faced with in September. Okay, including or involving a highly logical male, which can be an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Okay, you've also got the moon. So there isn't a, a things hidden, something hidden. You know, right now we're getting that super moon energy happening and it is in Pisces which is the moon card anger no win situation some of you might get some clarity um, or begin to trust your intuition and come to realize that a particular situation really is just a no win kind of situation for you um, and that's what that moon does, kind of brings up those hidden things in that super moon with that reflection. And now we're in Mercury retrograde, and I believe we're still in Venus retrograde. So, you know, for some of you, this is like not fighting for something anymore and coming to terms with that in September. Um, maybe getting past the anger and just realizing that this is not something to fight for any longer. So there, there's a little bit of um, a message coming in and a little bit of clarity about that for you, whatever that thing might be. Okay, some of you have 
an opportunity for travel also. Uh, and I feel like this is going to be sudden. Um, you're going to find out about this, like maybe the day, a day or two before, that travel is going to be, oh, going somewhere is going to come up. It's going to come from someone, a message from an admirer, someone that you um, that can invite, it feels like, from someone that you have great admiration for. Um, either it, it could be that long distance kind of thing where there is talks or plans. Uh, somebody's coming in to see you like the next day or in a couple of days or like by the end of the week. Okay. Whatever week that is this month. Yeah, so it's a couple different messages going on there, Virgo, and I just kind of feel like you, yeah, you're making new plans in your life, that's for sure, and it's good, I like it. All right, let's see what other messages are here for you, Virgo. Okay, so, well, there's Gemini, <laughs> you know, we didn't have a court card, an air court card, so that's significant. Let me just tell you, right here, we're getting some Christmas vibes. We got a candy cane and a reindeer. So this Christmas holiday season, very significant or means something to someone apart from the usual, okay? So the holiday, Christmas, I don't even care if you don't celebrate Christmas. It's just the Christmas season, which we call you know, going into the winter will be very significant for some of you. We also have, you guys have a shamrock, or I should say a four-leaf clover. There might be a trip going to um, Ireland for some of you. Um, or maybe McDonald's is going to have um, peppermint shakes, I just heard, coming up. And you're just like, I'm getting one. <laughs> Did they ever do that? I know they do shamrock shakes, and they're mint. But do they do like candy cane peppermint shakes? Man, I would I would like freaking buy thousands of them. How good would that be? You also have the letter Y. So somebody has the letter Y in their name. Someone's also 48 years of age. Or was born in 1948. Here we have the letter H. We also have, whoops, the number 28. So August 28th could be a birth date for someone. We also have uh, the number eight, so someone's birthday could be on the eighth. Okay, I just heard to thy own, to thy, to thy own self be true. Um, hmm, someone is fifty-one, either turning fifty-one or has turned fifty-one in August, or is leaving the age of fifty-one in August and going to fifty-two. Or born in 1951. Okay, let's see if we can get some kind of names of some sort here. Okay, Chet. Somebody's name is Chet. <laughs> That's a name. Okay. I also have the age 56, significant. Also the eight. Uh, the it says September 20th. Okay. Someone calls themselves. Uh, uses a pronoun they. Okay. Okay. 1972, 1978. All right. I'm hearing Rick or Rich. Rick or Rich. Richie, maybe. Okay. I'm hearing Ruth also. Somebody really likes the THC. Getting that for sure. Okay. Um, we've got Trey. T-R-E-Y. I don't know if you guys can see these. Hopefully you do. Picking up Trey. Gemini again. Very strong gem uh, vibes happening here for someone. 34 and the age 30, uh, 45. Okay, let's see. Okay. Someone calls their mother Ma, like Ma. Um, and somebody also 
is a big creator does something with like is a creator likes to create okay mm, okay I'm seeing someone with like a hat on a hat or a baseball hat or a cap I also have a dice okay who has a dice hanging from their car with their windshield weirdos <laughs> just kidding somebody does something with dice maybe gambles we also have a bike and a sunshine so i'm seeing yeah they're giving me a visual that somebody rides their bike in the morning likes to ride their bike early in the morning or just rides their bike for something it could be work or it's just exercise okay i'm seeing uh ria R-E-A-H, Rhea, the name, Talia, getting Tara, Heath, we have a Heath, um, I'm picking up Chris, so Christopher or Christine, Chrissy, someone's a Taurus, I just heard cheap. Chelation, 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 chelation. I don't know what that means. Um, cat. Um, they just said Mather or Mathers. Mather or Mathers. Maybe that's a last name. Let's see. Sarah is here. We have Sean. Someone lives in Maine. Or, okay, Sahara Desert, the Sahara Nia, N I A, Nia. These are like crazy messages. Um, someone is, okay, I don't know if that's a name. It's They're saying C Ward, C Ward. Um, oh, so we have Ian um, picking up Wes, like Wesley, Wes. Uh, Shia, Shia. Okay, someone's an AA. Uh, someone lives in the Northwest also. Uh, picking up... Um, I said Heath. Heath could be Heather for some of you. All right, let me get another one. Heath or Heather. Okay. So we have Z E G. Is that Z or X E G? Okay. I have Jeremy. Likes to be called Germ. Somebody calls him Germ or Jer. Jer. Hey, Jer. <laughs> Lara. Rex, okay, um, <laughs> some, okay, I'm seeing a T-Rex, <laughs> maybe that's the group, or someone likes T-Rex dinosaurs, or something to do with dinos, dinosaurs, um, uh, Natalie, or Nat, or Nathan, Okay, we're going to leave that there because that was a lot of names. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope that was interesting. And if you want to get a personal reading, oh, look, here's, that's not a unicorn. That's like my little pony. I guess that's significant for someone. That's like, that's a very happy dancing pony. Or maybe somebody goes to a place called the Dancing Pony. I don't know what the hell that means, but hey, to each his own. So I'm going to leave that there. Yeah, if you're going to get a personal reading, link in the description box below. Tomorrow I'll be back with your weekend reading. Um, Definitely reach out if you enjoy my OnlyFans or um, if you want to donate to any of the child funds or you want to buy me a cup of coffee, there's a link there too. So I hope you guys have a great night and I will see you all back here tomorrow. All right, take care. Bye.